I saved every letter you wrote me. From the moment I read them, I knew you were mine. You said you were mine. I thought you were mine. Do you know what Angelica said when we saw your first letter arrive? She said, "Be careful with that one, love. He will do what it takes to survive." You and your words flooded my senses. Your sentences left me defenseless. You built me palaces out of paragraphs. You built cathedrals. I'm rereading the letters you wrote me. I'm searching and scanning for answers in every line for some kind of sign. And when you were. You brought this girl into our bed. In clearing your name, you have ruined our lives. Do you know what Angelica said when she read what you'd done? She said, "You've married an Icarus. He has flown too close to the sun. You and your words obsessed with your legacy." Your sentences border on senseless, and you are paranoid in every paragraph. How they perceive you, 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 you. I'm erasing myself from the narrative. Let future historians wonder how Eliza reacted when you broke her heart. You have torn it all apart. I'm watching. Let me tell you what I wish I'd known when I was young and dreamed of glory. You have no control. Who lives? Who dies? Who tells your story? President Jefferson, I give him this. His financial system is a work of genius. I couldn't undo it if I tried, and I tried. Who lives? Who dies? Who tells your story? President Madison. He took our country from bankruptcy to prosperity. I hate to admit it, but he doesn't get enough credit for all the credit he gave us. Who lives? Who dies? Who tells your story? Every other founding father's story gets told. Every other founding father gets to grow old. And when you're gone, who remembers your name? Who keeps your flame? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Back in the narrative, Eliza. I stop wasting time on tears. I live another fifty years. It's not enough.、Eliza. I interview every soldier who fought by your side. She tells our story. I try to make sense of your thousands of pages of writings. You really do write. I'm too running out of time. I rely on Angelica. While she's alive, we tell your story. She is buried in Trinity Church near you. When I needed her most, she was right on time. And I'm still not through. I ask myself why. 
what would you do if you had more time? The Lord in his kindness, he gives me what you always want and he gives me more time. I raise funds in D.C. for the Washington Monument. He tells my story. I speak out against slavery. You could have done so much more if you only had time. And when my time is up, have I done enough? Will they tell me? The first private orphanage in New York City. The orphanage. I helped raise hundreds of children. I get to see them growing the up. The orphanage. In their eyes, I see you, Alexander. I see you every time. And when my time is up, have I done enough? Will they tell the story? Oh, I can't wait to see you. It's only a matter of time. Will they tell your story? Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? Will they tell your story? Who tells your story?